Hey everybody, Barry here again. We're back with part three, making some progress, getting parts ready. That's all I'm doing right now is getting everything ready for the final assembly. What I got on the go today is the drive shaft. I brought this one in. I thought it was a Mustang one, but it looks like it's a truck one because it has a steady bearing there. So I won't be able to use this dry shaft, I don't think, at all, because I think this is too short. If I could put a slip yoke on the end of this or something, it might work, but this is the one that collapses in the middle here. So I can use this flange. So I'll be using that one. I'll buy a conversion U-joint that goes from the Chev U-joint on this side for my dry shaft and then the Ford U-joint on this end. So that's not a major deal. See if I can find this flange, here we go. Oh no, it's too big. Well, looks like I'll have to buy a new flange for here or a new flange for the pinion. I'm not sure if the Explorer slash Ford trucks have the same uh, pinion splines as the Mustang one, so I could just put the bigger flange on, or if I'll have to get the smaller drive shaft flange. I do have a Ford truck, like an O2, scrapped, that wouldn't be really difficult for me to get this off, or the pinion flange, so I might go out and dig that out of the snow and pull that off. Well, I'm headed back up to the shop. It's uh, about 5.30, so it's getting kind of dark now, but I got a light and I brought with me. I uh, I forgot that I got like an 02 or 03 Ford pickup. It's a two-wheel drive. It's got 355 gears, uh, but it's an open diff. It's not a big deal. It has the right pinion flange that I'm looking for. And it has a drive shaft in it. I'm not sure if it's a slip yoke style or if it's the carrier bearing two-piece style like I already have but it's a single cab long box two-wheel drive so I assume that it's going to be the carrier bearing style I'm going to go and jack it up and haul the gears out of it and haul the center section out of it so I can at least mock up my axles until I get my limited slip but I can go ahead and put the pinion in because I'm going to be using 355 gears anyway I can have that all done so we're gonna go jack that up. The pan's already unbolted, so I think I might just flip the pan over and undo everything and then flip the pan back over on it again. And when I'm ready, when the truck is finished, I'll just get the crusher to come take it and that'll be it for that. So when I get to the shop, we'll get the light on and uh, get started. Okay, here we are. See, there's quite a bit of snow down and I wouldn't be doing this I didn't really have to because tomorrow we're getting another 25 centimeters of snow which in bald eagles is 10 inches so that would be up to like here and make it more difficult to get at i want to have this rear end done as quickly as possible so let's get this set up and pull the pan off That was a lot harder than I expected. Got it all apart. Pan stood up on its side. It's actually resting there really nice. It takes a bit of effort to pull it back this way, so it's not going nowhere. Now we can see. Oh, we got an aluminum dry shaft. That's cool. So that means it's a one piece. I still don't think it's going to fit in rat rod because this is a extended cab. Uh, mid box and the rat rod is a single cab short box but when I get it off I'll pull it out anyway oh, let's see what we can get at and I came with my coveralls on and the keys to the shop are in my jacket at home so I gotta go home and get those now 
I'm not going to bother to film all this because it's really dark and I can't see anything, can't set the camera up anywhere. So I'll just give occasional updates. I'm going to take it to full rear end. I just got this plate off. U bolts actually unbolted perfectly. So I'll be able to use those on the rat rod. This side is done. I'm going to do this side over here, which is very dark. And then I'll try and get the shock bolts off. It's uh, basically what feels like the middle of the night, but it's like 6.30, so um, I'll continue on and see if I can jack up the rear of this and pull the rear in back through or out through the side, out through here. But there's a lot of snow here, so it's going to be a pain either way, but we'll get it figured out. Surprisingly, these U-bolts came out perfect too. Treads aren't messed up. Everything unbolted perfect. So the rear end is pretty much free now from the uh, truck. I just gotta try and get the shock bolts out that are right there. They don't look so hot. Hopefully they just twist right off. I'm back in a nice warm shop, not crawling around in a foot of snow. And I got the part that I was after. Here we can see the difference between a Mustang and a Ford pickup flange. Major difference. Looks like the same pinion splines in it. Let's test it now over here, I guess. Yep, slides right on. That's perfect. So, let's check the drive shaft. Bolt holes all line up, so that's perfect. So, got the part we're after, that's perfect. And my back hurts, so mission accomplished, I guess. I got the pan left up on the truck because I'm gonna go back and take the rear end out. I do have the U-bolts disconnected, shocks are disconnected, parking brake cables, and brake lines, brake hoses, all that stuff, that's all done. But the truck is really hard to get at with a jack now so i'm not going to be able to jack it up i'll see if i can get something with a loader or something to lift it and then i can pull the rear end out from under it i don't need that right away i just wanted to make sure i had the right flange for it and i can continue on cleaning up the rear